What do you think the general level of Indian food in New York City is? I would say three. Three? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I have to tell you about this game-changing product I use before a night out with drinks. It's called Z-Biotics. Z-Biotics pre-alcohol probiotic drink is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in your gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration to blame for the rough next day. Z-Biotics produces an enzyme to break Break this byproduct down. Just remember to make Z-Biotics your first drink of the night. Drink responsibly and you'll feel your best tomorrow. So I first gave Z-Biotics a try on my trip to Paris. I met up with a couple of guys. We had some meats, some cheeses. I would be lying if I said under 50 bottles of the best stuff ever. Luckily, my first drink was Z-Biotics. The next morning, I felt so good. No matter what, I pop up 5 a.m. I'm in the gym. I know it doesn't look it now, but I'm jacked under here. Go to zbiotics.com backslash in studio to get 15% off your first order when you use in studio at checkout. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guaranteed. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money, no questions asked. Remember to head to zbiotics.com backslash in studio and use the code in studio at checkout for 15% off. Thank you, Zbiotics, for sponsoring this episode and our good times. I love this one. I don't know how to make anything, but I feel like it's my home cooking. Thank you. It means no, a lot. No, really, it really Thank does. Like, I feel like I've been eating this my whole life. You said you don't know how to cook it, so at least you'll eat from us. I don't. <laughs> I have no idea, because when I try to make something, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. It never tastes the same. So I just don't even try. I just fucking li leave it to the masters. What we are going to do today is we are going to try three different things. Uh. The first is the biryani. Then we have the paneer tikka. So we have our homemade paneer over here. And the third one is called the papri chaat. This is basically a street food of India which you eat with your hands and just lick your fingers off. Beautiful. The thing about our paneer is that we have an open challenge in our restaurant. If you can get a better quality paneer than what we serve you, get your check from the night you dine with us and we'll give you back cash. Cash, hard cash. Hard cash. Fell? Yeah. It's too much hair. Yeah, too much hair. Me I was too. just gonna say I'm too hairy. <laughs> I, I just fell too low. As soon as you said it, mine fell off. Just some fucking hairy animals. <laughs> So that's for the biryani. We do this thing where there are like multiple layers of yeah, it. Of it's a whole thing. And it's called dumb cooking, which basically means to cook in its own steam. So you want to seal the pot and bake it on slow heat for 35, 40 minutes. The entire thing mixes together. And when you open up, there's a steam and then you mix up and have it. Wow. The bottom layer is this one. Yeah. Then the rice goes. Then you add in the shank. Then you add everything from here. And then you again put rice and again layer everything together. And then you seal it with the dough. Ah, you're sealing it with the dough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you eating the dough? because I'm that type of guy that I want to fucking eat it. We have one biryani where we cover it with the dough and we bake it. That dough you can eat. I love to eat dough for no reason. <laughs> Especially when you're not supposed to. It excites me. I see the way that it's wiggling. I don't want to disrespect you and put my finger right there, but there's this piece right here that's begging for me. Please that one. Up. Right there. Oh, yeah. It's begging. Oh, my God. Mmm. Oh, oh, oh. What a flavor. How good are you with the spice? Like, are you Very good? good. I'd say that I'm one of the best ever. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> okay? Hi, I'm Chintan. Chito, nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Can I taste this paneer? Yes, yes, you can. Mm. Oh, wow. That's like hardened ricotta cheese. That's such a pleasant flavor and texture in my fucking face. Sorry, I snuck some lamb. Please, please, please. I have zero patience. Lamb makes me crazy. Thank you to Hexclad, official cookware sponsor of the in-studio show. If you want to make that kitchen legit and support our show, go to hexclad.com slash in-studio. That is hexclad.com forward slash in-studio for 10% off your next purchase. So we have this dish in our restaurant, which is only one a night. It's massive lamb shoulder. You Two only things. have one? The kitchen is so small, we can't cook more than that. And then we have one order of rabbit a night. Ooh, I like, like rabbit. This is a whole rabbit, which Those is like, fast. this one is not, this is like a three and a half pound of rabbit. Oh, this is a lazy rabbit. Lazy rabbit. So it tastes better. <laughs> that paneer is phenomenal. Just has a great texture. Is this chutney? Yeah. Oh, 
Whoa, you can't just give me a fork and leave things around and walk away from the station because I'm gonna fucking eat everything out of the pot. This is my whole life, is eating out of pots before it's served. I'm gonna have a little more lamb before he gets over here. Yeah, I've just heated up in the microwave. I haven't grilled it yet, but just try this. That's crazy. Once you warm it like that, it's crazy. I wouldn't cry in the middle of the night if you could feed me this. It just fell off. You heard it fall off of my chest there? They changed the recipe on my chest here. I love this type of teamwork in the kitchen. Teamwork? is the dream work. That's right. How long you been open down there, my brother? Two years and eight months, I think. We literally opened up on February 14, 2021. Beautiful. And everybody thinks because it was Valentine's Day we opened up, it wasn't the case. That's the day indoor dining in New York City opened up. I believe the inception of my children were around that time. We right now have four restaurants and one fried chicken shop. Wow, where's the fried chicken shop? It's in East Village. What's it called? Rowdy Rooster. I would love to taste it. If you want to taste a rowdy sandwich, that's like the crazy spicy one. I would love to get rowdy. Rowdy, rowdy Piper. I got you a little cheetah when you're ready. Awesome. Rose. I think this is the best part of the shoot. There are so many shoots I've done, I've never got wine while doing the shoot. This is the lamb shank biryani. This has been layered with the cream on the bottom, shallot, herbs. It's a Saffron cream. The saffron cream, layered, shank, rice, saffron cream, shank, rice. A dough around to really seal the pot. We can't eat it even though I really want to eat that, but it's just to seal the pot to really make sure that it's cooking in its steam. Dumb style, correct? Dumb style. So the word dumb means power. So what happens is just think about this as the bowl and you have certain amount of moisture and liquid and then you seal it up. So when the liquid gets heated up, there is steam generated. Absolutely. And the steam cannot escape because it just keeps on going inside it. That's powerful steam. Yeah. Anything with that on is gonna be fucking amazing. I didn't know you used thyme in Indian cooking. Thyme? That's not thyme? So that's called ajwain, which is basically called carom or thymal seeds. This seed. Let me taste it. Similar properties. It's like twiggy, woodsy, green. As you get the depth of it, it tastes like everything mixed together. It's a very strong spice. It's That's actually great. Amazing. So let's make the final dish over here, papadi. That's a date and a tamarind chutney. Mm. I'm gonna try a little bit. Oh my God. Mwah, 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 mwah. Mm, that's good. Those crackers yeah. are delicious. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm. You can't have me moaning about food fucking two in the afternoon. So this one is ready. We can start eating this. So you're supposed to mix it up entirely, mash it up. That's pretty fucking silly. Mmm. What the fuck is that? Out of control. This is the cheese that you need to try. Dog, this is incredible. My God. That fucks great. I love these flavors, brother. Please, sir, try this one. You got it. Don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> Not even once. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Extremely, unbelievably tender Thank and you. delicious and fucking unreal. I've never had a texture like that in my in paneer. It's usually very hard. Yeah, it's supposed to be oh, like this. this is fucking banging. The purest expression of the milk with the ghee on him. The flavors. That's the most delicate, delicious, gentle, unbelievable texture I've ever had in my life. It's like flan. Yeah, try it, try it. It's very different. Like if you have tried paneer before, you'll understand how different this is. Your food would be as good as the ingredients that you use. Our job is very simple. We use the best ingredients. That's it. Indian cooking has to use a red onion, but it's expensive. So a lot of people end up using white onions and that actually doesn't give you the right flavor and the taste. It's just a simple fried onion. It gives it the flavor. That's what gives it the flavor actually. That's crazy. This is so good. The paneer is phenomenal. With this chat, it's really transformative. That's so delicious, it's crazy. I already know what that lamb tastes like, so I can only imagine what that fucking biryani is gonna taste like. You know I snuck a bunch of lamb already. Yeah. I ate the equivalent of about a shank. Are you ready for this? Sir? Oh, wow. Oh, open the bread. Who wants the bone? Me. Bronson. Look at this fucking shit. This is how you know, like, the steam. Steam cooking works. Muscle separation. It's like it's preparing for the Olympia. Oh. 
I can't believe this. It's unbelievable. It's the cooking method which actually separates it. The texture of the rice is unbelievable. I'm gonna move to India. <laughs> <laughs> you can just move to our restaurant, that's yeah. it. Let me tell you something, man. This is fucking stupid. Give me a hug. Thank you. Thank you. Give me a big hug. <laughs> Thank you. This is so good, everything. Thank you. Eric. Come here, give me a hug. He's actually big, he was not supposed to be here. He only came because of you. So hug me then, you fucking <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Hug me, you asshole. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, thank you for coming. You guys fucking went nuts. You have something going on? Yeah, so we're opening up this uh, Filipino restaurant. It's gonna be open uh, end of the month. So be I'll cold. be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll do, we'll do tasty for you. Please, I would love that. The highlight of the restaurant is gonna be something called as a soup number five. Oh, yeah. Which actually is a very Filipino thing which you don't get anywhere except Philippines. Please, you need to explain now. It's a soup uh, made out of uh, beef, Testicles and beef penis. Mm. That's all about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's select from Western beef. Yes. <laughs> beef for you guys. That was fucking unbelievable. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, bro.